This thing is not allowed in this area. Interesting. Well, let's consult the journal log here. Uh, need to wait till night time. Let's wait. <clears throat> now we want to go to the Queen's Bath. Where we will locate some people. You are traveling in the slums of Nekataka when the streets become suddenly barren. <clears throat> This will be good. The cliffs high above block all sight from the stars from narrow alleys and tunnels of Nekataka's ghettos. The reek of rotten fruit mixes with the noisome scent of dead fish, swaddling you along with a hundred of other lesser filthy fragrances. <clears throat> Uh, your footsteps echo in the darkness, piercing the otherwise silent slums. Feels like we're missing something, like people, Edder scans the empty street. You turn a corner and walk into a plaintive cry, help. Miss Hapen's shadows mix with low hissing and the skittering of claws on the filthy stone to resolve into a pack of skulldeer. Their glistening maws float in the black and cave grubs wriggle about their legs, mandibles snapping as if to mangle the air. On the far side of the creatures, a small girl dressed in the rags of a huana grips a gleaming sword in both hands. She brandishes it wildly at the skulldeer, each swing of the blade releasing a howl that keeps the beasts at bay. They creep ever closer to her, however, and her eyes plead with your own. Please, or please. Um, apparently we're really bad at stealth. Um, dexterity affliction. I'd rather uh, draw the beast's attention. Let's do that. With, uh, you. With the resounding shout, Edder rushes into the fray. The Skulldeer flinch and turn on your party. They growl hungrily as they charge forward. Bring it on! Although I wasn't quite ready for this. All right, so I'm going to have to protect her. You're going to rush forward. You're going to rush forward. You are going to attack. All right, excellent. He's casting this. This is amazing. Exactly what I wanted to see. Cast it on him. There we go. It's like I want to retarget. No, I guess I don't. I need you to heal him. Alright, looks like I got several charms off. What I want to do here... Well, actually, if you're going to charm that guy, that works for me. Okay, now you're near death. Okay. 
don't want you to die, so put you in a bubble. Where we don't have to deal with that anymore. Alright, Seraphin. Back up. This is me. We will also back up. Resummon ogres. Seraphin, do you have like a debuff? You do. It's going away though. What was that? Hit Seraphin for 58 damage. Jesus. Just say, please get that cast off. To alarm you. That's an ogre, and I do not want you casting that spell on that guy. Um, and I just don't want you casting that spell on that guy. So where are you? You're right there. You're right there. Why don't you move here instead? Cast this. Alright, then you move away. You'll attack the cave grub. Poison. Alright, well, now we'll move you in. Everybody can get some bonus HP. Oh, Kusi is, uh, mind control? Yes? Or did I accidentally attack her somehow? some reason, we are attacking her now. And I don't get it. I really don't get it. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to accept that. Just randomly, she just decides to attack us. Tell me, don't play that. Alrighty. I want you to move in. You to move in. Summoning ogres. You're attacking. Yeah, excellent. Alright, we got a couple charms. Very nice. You... Cast that on her. Hey, you're ignoring everything I want to do. Should move here and cast that. Let's resummon ogres because it seems like we're running out for some reason. Okay. We're gonna take the attacks of opportunity and move back. But if you have any don't tell me much obliged. The reason we're doing this is because I don't wanna re-aggro her. 
<laughs> she's super salty. Oh, she's coming back. No can do. Can you stay out of the fight, please? <laughs> Cast this now. Need something stronger. We have an offensive ability. Do. go yes oh actually not done yet we gotta kill this breath can't make a dent I need something stronger this thing isn't doing the job that move is stronger. pretty obnoxious all right there we go I've been pretty good about not restarting, but I mean, us attacking her was pretty stupid. The girl panting before you, draped in tattered Roparu robes, bears a few bruises and cuts but looks otherwise unharmed. Beads of sweat commingle with trickling blood on her forehead. Finally relaxing, she lowers the sword she's been swinging, letting the edge rest in the dirt. The pummel bears the form of a dog's head. I uh, wanted to make a Game of Thrones reference there, but I couldn't think of uh, the Mormont name quick enough. Thanks, stranger. Don't think I could have made it without you. Kusi smiles, eyes gleaming in the gloom. Um, 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 um. Huh, I like number three. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, you look like you had it handled. I just swept in to help clean up. I doubt it. Thanks for saying so all the same. Anyway, I think you should have this. For what you did, and for what you can do with it. She kneels, wipes the blood off the blade, and slides it into its scabbard before poffering it to you. More history. Um, I don't really need any swords right now. I don't, uh, you should keep the sword. It would mean a lot to me if you took it. <laughs> Besides, it's a bit big for me. I should probably stick with daggers and the like. If you insist. Griffin's blade. Uh, as you take the sword from her, the girl steps back. Loyal companion. Sting. Not amazing. I don't know who I would give it to. I truly appreciate what you did. Not everyone in Nekataka steps in for a neighbor. I need to be getting back to Mother, though. She grimaces down at one of the dead Skulder. I probably shouldn't take home Skulder meat, should I? She muses. I mean, meat's meat. Uh, of course. You say so. Can I rest here? Nope. It wasn't so bad, other than the, the nonsense. Okay, so now we got to go confront that guy in the alleyway, whoever he might be. Apparently my camera settings 
screwed up again. Okay, though. It looks bad, but it doesn't look crazy bad. It does look kind of bad, though, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll fix that. Soon, TM. Here. Say, lass, I'd like to try prodding your forts again. Savvy? I can tell you what I see right now. Your insides are on your outsides, and you're covered in flies. It ain't the prettiest of sights, but go ahead, if you're feeling brave. Ah, I see. Plague by nightmares, then, lass. Skies are fire, boiling seas, that sort of shit. Sure am. Don't try to hide it, neither. Tribulations from the gods are a blessing, not a curse. Well, I ain't one for knowing gods and prophecies, but I can be sharing with you the ancient pirate's secret for sleeping like a babe, if that be of interest to you. Of course, I wouldn't mind a reprieve. Just for a night or a few. If you got something, tell me. Rum. Barrels of rum. Drink it till you see free of me, and you'll be sleeping through Kraken attacks. What a bro. Righty. Where are they at? Can't scroll up anymore. Apreta, what do you want? Uh, here's an egg. Agrasima. That'll staunch my pains for an evening at least. Uh, I came here for a quest. Game sleeps by day and makes trouble in the alleys by night. Urchin looks up at you with wide, sorrowful eyes. I'll give him one copper. It's one copper. Hey, thanks. Hey, I lost two copper. That's not cool, man. Urchin bows and scurries away. Scurry. All right, looks like I'm um, waiting again. While that's happening, I guess I can... ...do this. Apparently not for very long. There we go. You're the lot I've been looking for. Oh, hold on. So she asked him what he calls that trick, and he says, the Consueli. Sure we get uh, the proper positioning here. Captain? Boy. I'm here. Alrighty, so I'm gonna want you here. Okay. I want you here. I'm here. Quick save. You the one causing trouble in Cotter's neighborhood. The wolf at this man's side raises her hackles and growls. She shushes and pat 
He shushes and pats her behind the ears, all the while keeping his focus trained on you. I thought Remaro's pup kept better company. Kata glances at Seraphim. Ahoy, friend. So you still be doing that old referring yourself by name thing? Would have thought it have cost you enough lays by now to be dropping that affectation. Kata has not missed the sound of your voice, Seraphim. Your smoke and mirror ghosts do not impress Kalezia, and they do not scare Kata. A line of drool drips down between the wolf's barred, bared teeth. Sorry, Valian names all sound the same to me. Which one is the pretty wolf? You'll know soon enough. Kata bears his teeth too at Edir. Hmm. Any chance you're the one shaking down Zamar? Zamar has money problems. Kata has solutions. The little man doesn't know how to count his coins. Kata heard a newcomer was talking with Zamar. His free hand moves toward the, the weapon slung on his belt. Wrong play, Kata. Let's be keeping this a friendly as a friendly fucking chats. Lest the captain be calling your raise. His furried hands rest near his own weapons. Look, Celezia, your supper comes with blue fur. He nudges the wolf, eliciting a deep growl. Tell the shipwright to accept Cotter's deal before he suffers another setback. Hmm. Go moderate and negative with the pirates. Why are you shaking down Zamar? Zamar can keep Principi ships afloat. Kata narrows his eyes. Kata tires of seeing his family sailing derelict wrecks. Mm, any thoughts, Seraphim? You've got to ask, Cap. A Principi deal will be the all round winner. Orlin shrugs. Running a furred hand over his braided beard. Zamar gets himself steady work. The pirates know they're looked after. And you and me get a shove off from this mess with a prince of be favor in our old. Chart another course risks running us aground of everyone's bad side. Better that you listen to the hairy piglet. Kata nods, glancing from Seraphim to you. Kata will see that his casita knows your name. There's also a coin to spare. And Kata will get you the Principi discount on Zamar's goods. Deal? <sighs> Can't open up my journal. Decisions, decisions. Uh, at this point, I just kind of want to fight, just because fighting is fun, and I have every bit of confidence that I can take on these guys. Um, I'm going to fight. Counteroffer. That brings Amar your head. Seletia, the throat! Kata releases his wolf and points at you. The rest of his mates take up their arms. You're going to attack this wolf. Where are you casting that? Rather you summon some dragon. Summon it there. And you attack the wolf. There we go. Now, a ringleader. There would be pretty good. Actually. Uh, 
Oh, no, we don't need that. Right there is good. Alright, and you... Heal yourself. What does this even do? There is a killing blow. Blah blah. That guy, though. Alright, I want you to attack the wolf because I want you to attack that. No, the gunpowder. Yes, the gunpowder. Alright, stop. Stop attacking the gunpowder. I need uh I need some dragons back. Please kill this priest. <laughs> Guys got some stuff. All right, priest is getting le bodied. I didn't cast that spell. All right. You casting that on on the priest? That's fine. You, why don't you, uh, oh, I guess you don't need to do that. Well, why don't you just attack that guy? I'm gonna attack that guy. And Kata. That hardly seems fair. You done, son. Nice. Pretty good. Okay. Got some stuff. I hear you. Quick save. Welcome back. Looking for anything specific? Gate crasher. Heaven's Cacophony. Uh, pretty decent. Okay. Okay. Let's go tell Homeboy Slice that we killed his pirating troubles, and I'm sure he'll get very pissed at us, but... You know, this this is how business is ran. Meanwhile... I guess I'll just mess with this. Now we're gonna get it right. Ranzamar. Fixed your issues. Ahoy there. Any news worth telling? Principe won't be bothering you anymore. Best news I've heard since I arrived on this rock. Lamar lowers his hands. They shake like they don't know where to go next. They go back up to his beard, this time less frenzied. What of Captain Redora? Lamar pulls the end of his mustache taut. Has she sobered up yet? Or do we need to shake her by her ankles? 
She was robbed. Don't don't hold it against her. Robbed. Abidon's fist. Blinking, Zamar glances past you and swallows. Someone's feeling bold to prey on a captain in Queen's birth. Matters being what they are, Redora's commission is yours if you can afford it. Zamar smooths down his mustache and dislodges a small puff of sawdust. I might be interested in buying Redora's commission. That'll be the Iron Thunderer, a cannon well deserved of her name. Zamar beams with pride. Maybe she doesn't stand up to Rawatai's standards, but she's got heart. For a thousand pyres, she'll crack a hull, scour a sail, or splinter a deck like an imp with something to prove. I'll take it. You, you will? I, I mean, you will. Snatches your hand and shakes it with two quick pumps. Your vessel will spit fire like a worm with a belly full of fire kelp. I don't like the range on those. He snaps his fingers at one of his attendants and points at your ship. What else you got? Come take a look. Okay, so we cannot afford a new boat. No, I mean, we can't really afford anything. Um, but we could sell some stuff. Let's see. Battle axe. Cool. Crossbow. Regular blunderbuss. Ooh, that's 10. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. You. Those are nines. That's seven for light armor. That's actually pretty good. They're exceptional one-handed swords. Goodbye. A lot of junk. I don't really like this. Get rid of that too. Get rid of you. You. Wait, what was that? We'll keep that, I guess. Or you can have those keys. Have all these stilettos. You can have all these traps. Let's just get rid of that hot garbage. There's a possibility I'll use that. Buy exceptional robes. Buy you. Exceptional hunting bow, we'll probably keep that. Alright, looking good. Ooh, look at that money! That's what I'm talking about. How much do these uh, go for? Just a hundred? Hoping for um, more. Alright, well, we are VR troopers. Expensive. And created to house all of the extra pets that can't be taken on adventures. Alright, that's all the stuff that I sold. Alright, let's buy a new boat. We can get the Dow.
get the Voyager. Get 60 whole health, 80 whole health, 120 whole health, 80 whole health. Hmm. Maybe I'll get the Galleon. Talk about speed at all? No. Get the Galleon. What else can we sell? See, I actually like that sword. I don't like this one. So goodbye. Kitchen stove. Uh, gotta be too close. Goodbye. Pistoles. Oh. Just get rid of everything we're not gonna use. I think I'll keep this one though. Let's see. Adventures. These look to be the same. Okay, that's good. You fine. Get rid of all these scrolls. I'm just like never gonna use scrolls. Get rid of the books. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Then I want to move over to the boat here. That as active ship. I just... Just kick everybody off this. Watcher of Deerwood. I can see this is going to take a while. Alright, so we got some thunders. We'll line up like that. They're all standard. 
Okay, so you are a navigator. You on the navigator spot. You're a helmsman. Get some cannoneers. You're a surgeon. Any surgeon spots? What is this surgeon? Uh, Luke, you're a cannoneer. Deckhand. You're a deck, and you're a cook. Deckhand. Helmsman Navigator. Helmsman, you're my navigator. You're a deckhand. Apparently a really good one. You're a surgeon. Better surgeon than he is. We got you, who's a cannoneer. I don't see any other cannons. We'll have to buy some. Guess we need some cannoneers, too. Oh, you're a cannoneer. Boom! Put you there. I guess you could be a boatsin, is what they're supposed to be called. My goodness. Uh, da 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 da. Business comes and goes. Oh, come. Okay. So I want to buy some cannons. You got some worm tongue. Um, I don't remember how many I need. I think I need... I think I need four. Oh, he doesn't have any more. Uh, let's buy some water. Some food. These do six to nine, but I like the rain. Minus two meters combat speed. What do I need? One sail. Lanterns. Uh, cool. Sure, let's get one of those. I think we're good. Good. And repair supplies, 50, medical supplies, 50, cannon shot, 50. thank you very much.
don't know why that's not working, but, you know, whatever. All the food up here. Boom, boom, boom. Need one more cannon. We're good. I think we're really good. Quick save. Bust out the journal. Anything left in this town? Speak to the Hanzanui in the Bronze Citadel. Or the Brass Citadel. I think we'll go do that one. Oh, I discovered this. This is fantastic. Apparently clicking on that does not do anything. Oh, you cannot actually use this to fast travel? Well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Foiled again. Just, just mess with this. I'll just, I'll just cancel that. I don't need all that. Alrighty, Brass Citadel. Thank you very much. You come upon a busy city square. Should have saved. Close that. The cool waters of Nekataka's town wells. The cool waters of Nekataka's town wells serve poor and rich alike. Yet those who gather at them share certain unmistaken features: tired amal of visages, yokes borne across labored backs, and a tattered roparo rags. Whether for themselves or their masters. Each waits in a long line to claim a bucket full of fresh water. Uh, let's speak to the locals. Ruparu, long accustomed to ignoring their superiors, pay, pay you little mind, only belatedly realizing that you address them. One of them, an older woman, blinks dark eyes at you. Akira, it is Axelron. I am always hearing stories of you. Okay. It is said that you are a decent person, a younger man chimes in, not like many of those foreign sort. A child reaches for your hand. With a growing cascade of murmurs, the crowd unravels between, between you and the now bubbling wellhead. A black liquid splatters from between the stones of the well and someone in the crowd screams. A muckman from Reparo cast steps forward his boots seem more slosh than leather, but his plungers so long he fit in with any formation of pikemen. He raises a hand to a curdling crowd. Be at ease, Akira. For what do you flee? I am I always am cleaning these, he blinks, as the undulating formless of an ooze bubbles up from the well. He takes a step back, shaking. Um Go. I'll take care of this. The Amala drops his plunger and bolts ungainly on the shoddy boots. 
Uh, you turn to see a second thick ooze burst out of the well, shredding a well's yoke and shattering the pit's stone. Um. Aww. Uh, dry weapons and attack. Actually, to me, citizens, I will protect you. Nice. The muckman and the crowd swarm to you for safety. The shape of the mob gelatinous as it fills in behind you. Why are they using gelatinous when we're fighting an ooze? Come on, man. You get you confusing me. Uh, behind you, the ooze ripple and divide, each small creature falling free of a rotten rape from the bunch. They roll towards you, collecting dirt as the crowd gasps and backs away. You ready yourself. <laughs> Time to fight some ooze. That's a lot of ooze. I'd rather we get some dragons. All right. Move you here. Move you here. I'm taking ranged attacks? I am taking ranged attacks. Where the heck are you going, Edir? What are you doing, man? Oh dear. Alrighty. Need you to... Puppet Master. Actually, I don't need you to do that. I need you to do that. What you need to do... Heal yourself. you to attack. Okay, you do that. Get one of those going. Alright, there we go. This is what I wanted. Yeah, I guess I have to go with that. I'd rather you summon some dragons. Alright, my mind control did not work. Hear yourself, please. These guys are resisting a lot of my stuff. summoning that. I want you summoning dragon. Alright, and I don't want you casting that spell. Particularly interesting. 
I'd rather you just attack. Well, now you can heal her. Alright. Kill this one. Up and master that. And you guys kill this please. You want know you help. Alright, you're gonna have to back off. You're taking too much damage. Kill yourself. It's occurring to me that I'm gonna need um something that I can't think of right now. Alright, let's summon some ogres. I want you to back off, because I do not want you to take damage. Wait, are these guys immune? There we go. Uh, where is it at? Whisper of Treason. Don't see what happened to my cast of Whisper of Treason. Well, that was an ugly way to die. These ogres are doing much better. Summon some wisps. And look at Edder, man. He's just holding it down. Yeah, the, these these ogres are are pretty good. I dig them. All right, well done, everybody. We get like no loot from that. I am ready. Such is life, I guess. At once. died tell me even a person right here uh, those people weren't supposed to die <laughs> I guess I did a poor job of protecting people oh well was nice. I really like these random events that happen. I, I'm assuming they're random, but a lot of them seem to have been um, calculated. Calculated in the sense that, you know, I trigger something in the story and then stuff happens. Okay, so what was this quest again? Uh, Zunini Kari. Your best interest to meet with her to see where our interests. Converge. Real command. 
Skunks. Go here first. I'm at the Brass Citadel right now, right? I'm not crazy, right? Yeah. My hands are feeling better. It's my pride that's still sore. She glowers at her burned hands. I'm still looking for an experienced cannoneer. I got a big boat now. She looks at him down considering you offer. Don't take this the wrong way, but I'll I'm sure you're capable. Let's talk again. All right. You, you, uh, you think you're a G, but you ain't no G. I've got all sorts of goods and supplies. Take a look before you head back out. Take a look. I think I will. Now that I am considerably poor. A greater ring of regeneration. Oh, yeah, I've looked at this person's stuff before. Um, take all of that, though. Thanks. A bunch. My favorite privateer, clear skies. All right, not there. The last time I ship out with some soft handed runt. command now I bought these uh these things I don't know what exactly they are but they're not Barang very tasty Nui leads us but he represents all a Rao Thai then must he put his name on everything price share is simpler I was to understand that our business is concluded Where are the walls? The artillery? The Juana have a paradise. Yet they do. <clears throat> They're called Nanis. Diocolari Biscotti? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. The only reason I can eat this kind, I haven't tried the other one yet, but I bought two boxes. Kind of regretting it. Because it doesn't taste that great. But uh, this one has uh, dark chocolate. That's called Clear Skies. Stuff. 
whatever. Uh, thanks for the follow, Ditto Hero. Appreciate that. But anyways, these things are not the tastiest thing. I'm actually, I, I got the kind that, do that doesn't have the dark chocolate. Kind of afraid to taste those because these ones with the dark chocolate are only tolerable with the dark chocolate. I haven't talked to you yet. A young woman with a bright, wide smile and eyes to match right, or raises her hand and gives you a quick but enthusiastic wave. Then, with an exaggerated look of embarrassment, she stops herself and crosses her forearms over her chest. I always forget that part. Say, you're the Watcher of Cad Nua, aren't you? I've never met anyone famous before. Except the Hazanui. She yells at me sometimes. This is the person I'm looking for. Admiral. Uh, her grin widens and possibly. Uh, you're the quartermaster. Can you sell me something? Her face scrunches up in disappointment. I really wish I could, but my supplies are for the Royal Deadfire Company and our allies. Has the Nui's orders. Maybe if you impress her or Atsura, they could make an exception. Peace. You can't sell me something. Uh, you're not useful once. to me. Got nothing hiding in here. Uh, maybe the Admiral's over here. As I torture myself by doing something that I don't particularly like. Ah, there you are. Hazanui Karu places or paces near her desk, looking like a shark circling the shallows. She clenches a long, elegant pipe between her teeth, the smoke trailing an acrid wake behind her. She looks up when you enter and favors you with a brief nod of acknowledgement. The former Lord of Kadnua and one time terrifier of Harbor Masters. If dockside tales are to be believed. He smiles briefly through the smoke. You have not brought much good news of late. Her pensive look returns. So, in addition to pirates, profiteers, and slavers, the dead fire has a vengeful god roaming its waters? She bites down harder on her pipe. Um, what is a skein? Ah. Uh, I need to learn more before we speculate on his motives. If your report is true, he's stumping port towns into craters. I don't much care why he's doing it. He must be stopped. She halts, turning to face you. You're finally able to get a good look at her. She's not especially large for an Amawa, but she carries her shoulders high. Her weathered face looks to have seen many storm-blown and sun-beaten days on deck, yet her eyes are sharp and keen. Hmm. Uh, first I need to find him. And then you'll need resources. She watches you, her eyes bright with calculation. The Valians won't lift a finger if it isn't to snatch a coin. And the Huana will barely do that much. Success in trade has been quite elusive for the Rauataians. But the bitterness suits you well. No one takes charge to solve the big problems. But perhaps we could work together to our mutual benefit. She takes the pipe in her hand, her left hand. Uh, as she does, you notice that her right is unusually still. Uh, <clears throat> perhaps we could. Look around. Dead fires full of fertile, temperate islands. Except for Andra's mortar. It's largely free of rough weather. She waves her right hand, and you notice again that her fingers remain strangely still. Yet much of it is uninhabited. Itinerant tribes drift between some of the islands, and smugglers and slavers cluster around the rest. She shakes her hand, her head. It's a waste. Imagine what this place could be, with well-guarded shipping routes. How many Rauhataians we could feed with plantations here? Hmm. What does that have to do with me? You've got a way of charging into things full speed. 
Some might call it reckless, but I consider it valuable. If you're chasing the god who's stomping this place into the ground, then we have a common goal. And if you're going to survive here, then you could use an ally. A hint of a smile tugs her lips from her tar-stained teeth. What do you have in mind? The disaster at Hasango remains a key concern. We rely on the port there to ship food back to Rawatai. She sucks on her pipe, hiding her worried expression behind a cloud of smoke. That's on hold until you investigate. Short of that, there are other matters that demand attention. You've already spoken with Atsura. For now, I suggest you continue to work with him. I might have something for you later. What's the game board for? Hazatoa. Atsura and I usually have a game running, and this one's been going on for over a month and a half. Atsura's good at misdirection, but I've got a mind for the long game. You look like you've come with a purpose. What happened to your hand? She extends her arm, holding the prosthetic between you. It's an exquisite piece with reinforced joints in each of the fingers and a smooth, sanded finish. It happened a year into my first command. We were chasing pirates along Rawatai's south coast, and they landed a shop right next to our magazine. A lucky hit. He's quiet for a moment. I ran below. The fire was already spreading and making for our powder stores. I smothered what I could with my uniform, pulled the rest away with my own hands. Hmm. <laughs> I like number five. That's so cheeky. Uh, if you hadn't, you and your crew would have probably died. She nods. We don't get to choose our challenges, do we? Just the way we meet them. There's a cost to every victory, and the win goes to those willing to make a sacrifice. She considers the wooden hand, turning it to the light. You sense satisfaction in her gaze. I'll bet you already know a thing or two about that. And if you don't, dead fire will teach you soon enough. Peace. I'll have Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Last time I ship out with some soft handed runt. I think I'm in good hands. Um, I we should consult this first. So I could probably do something with this food for thought. There's actually one thing that I haven't done yet, and it's over in Queen's Birth. Over near the Wild Mare. A voice calls out to you from an alleyway. Nekataka's poorer districts host more dark than light. The streets and alleys the only housing many Huana know. As you pass by one of the, these alleys, a voice calls out. You turn to see a hand fold out from the darkness. The pale palm balances a figurine, more silhouette than statue in the dim light, and when you try to get a clearer look, the fingers fold back up. Magic, the voice says. It summons beasts to harry your enemies. We'll save you in a pinch in a city as dangerous as this. Surely your life's worth a few silver. Torchlight glints from the man's teeth. You want, you follow. The figure withdraws into the darkness. Though you only caught a glimpse of it, you know that the figurine is no mere trinket. There is untapped power within its form. Enter the tunnel, I do. Within the alley, a torch ignites, revealing a tunnel entrance. You pass through the archway. 
On the other side, a group of Principi hold torches and blades. Bodies stuff the corners, eyes dry in the flickering flames, some with their hands bound, others face down in the grime. Strangely Vasil, isn't it? Easy. Uh, the pirate draws his weapon. Set out a little cheese and these foreign rats come tick, 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 chittering in. Uh, let me see. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna attack. Perception affliction. Let's blind them. I choose you. As the pirates close in, you step forward and, with a flicker of your fingers, you call forth essence to rob them of their sight. Sons of Horrors, one of the pirates cries, her voice echoing down the tunnel. Another joins in, complaining about how unfair the use of magic is. Time to ambush and attack. You creep forward, drawing your weapon. What's up, Two-Face? How was your... Saturday going? Forgetting what day it is. Alrighty. Dione. Nobody behind me, right? Okay, excellent, good. Got a brawler. Ooh, we've got some peeps. Stay behind me. Okay. okay. Summon some ogres. You can run up. You can attack. You can attack. Okay. I don't want you casting that. I don't want you casting that either. There we go. That's what I want to see. Let's target the paladin. We'll have to, you know, homeboy slice here. Uh, you have that all the time. Still sick. Contemplating if you should stream or not today due to being sick. I mean, I don't think you should worry about it all too much. Wow, we mind controlled everybody. So you all. Where'd everybody go? Hey, watch it with that. Wow, we actually did mind control everybody. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, hey, trying to get into the. Hey, watch it with. I guess the the knack of streaming a little bit longer. I uh, need to finish this game in a reasonable amount of time. If possible. Okay, you are getting absolutely destroyed. Uh, but I guess... Uh, Long story short, because it's so hard to talk and think at the same time. Uh, things are going poorly in this fight, but good for myself. Don't die. Alright. Not even close. Kill her, please. Alright, on to her. Oof. Alright, good body. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Probably equip some of the new stuff I got. Oh, hey! I get one of those. Thank you very much. Let's see. So it was some armor that we acquired. Be wearing second chance. There's a revive, which is pretty good. What do you got medium armor. 
give you this. What do you got? Got that. We'll give you that. You're wearing that. Heavy. I mean, that's pretty good, but I think 10 armor is going to be better. Let's do that. Great. That'll show people to mess with me. The Unstoppable. Uh, what was... Oh, I remember what I was going to do now. I wanted to go over to Queen's Birth. Near the Wild Mare, because there's a sewer entrance that I saw at the very beginning, but never went inside. I'd like to check that place out. Oh, and to answer your question, Two-Face, you should definitely, definitely stream anyways. Worst case scenario, just turn off the camera, mute the mic, and just oblige. play that way. Now, what can I do for you? I've seen a group of Royal Deadfire Company soldiers in here. Aye, they're up on the balcony outside. <laughs> Noisy bunch. He pinches the bridge of his nose and sighs. If this is some kind of trading company squabble, take it elsewhere, right? My staff already have more work than they need, and blood's damnably difficult to get out of the rugs. You see anything you like? Tell me what you got for sale. Oh, it's oh, it's this place. I'm um, really considering this. Thanks, no problem, man. You ain't, you ain't always gotta. Uh, what's the right term for it? You don't always have to have the, you know, the camera and the mic on. I mean, you know, it, it's probably not going to be, at, it's, it's, it's not going to be as good of a stream, of course, but that don't matter. Let's rest. Now, look, you see anything you like? Um, these guys are kind of expensive. I need a boats and person. Yeah, you need to let go more. Thanks for keeping you in check. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know if I'd go that far. I don't think I kept you in check, but you know, I mean, I think it's always one of those situations where if you wanna, if you wanna stream, something's holding you back. You can still stream. It's fun. My one solace from the TV. Hello, my hunter. To what do I owe this delight? Okay. I guess we want to go to the upper floor. I was going to go buy some Advil and stuff. I'm going to leave this video over. Okay. Have a good one, man. If you're streaming later on, I'll stop by. Okay, this this is that up upstairs. It's it's been a a long time since I've been in this this place. It's all kind of brand new to me. I remember her though. I do. Over the din we had fighting to the north. Uh, Rador raises her tankard to her lips and studies you over its rim. Uh, the pirate and the wolf are both dead. Belfetto for the republics. Rador tosses back her ale and turns to salute the rest of the wild mare patrons. Fermilanis. And to your health, sir. I hope one day to stand again half so proudly beneath the flag. The Iron Thunderer has a worthy home. Peace. You're welcome. Okay. I want to go upstairs. I'll take that.
And he was on the balcony. Don't see any other way to go upstairs, so I guess... I guess this is the only way. There we go. Keep missing that. These dark chocolate things. Really? You don't even like really like dark chocolate. I'm all about the milk chocolate. And then comes the white chocolate, which is not really chocolate, I know. And then dark chocolate is just kind of bleh. Let's make sure we're in position here. Shrimp. Defiance Bay, am I right? The sizable Amawa smiles and claps you on the shoulder, hard. Uh... Lie, uh... Of course, how could I forget? He gives you a look that is skeptical, if amused. I was but a face in the crowd, but I remember the one who walked out of Hadrid House alive. Claps you on the shoulder again, harder, and this time you recognize inebriation behind his enthusiasm. So, what brings you here, friend? What are you doing? Captain gave us extra coin to occupy ourselves while we're on leave. We've been draining Valian wine cellars and trying to remember the words of Rawatai anthems. <laughs> Loudly, as often as not. He turns to his compatriots with unrestrained glee. Goodbye. I don't think I've been inside this this house. You know, maybe if this was like a soft kind of bread, it would be pretty good. My fingers be fat and furry, but they're ever so nimble. Swapped in spark. Take that. We'll take that. You can keep your crossbow. <laughs> Thanks for the loot. Really hate these loading screens. I've also made the executive decision, even though by the time this executive decision has been made, it will be painfully obvious. And that I am not going to cut them out. I was cutting them out of the first episode. It was just... It's too much. It is way, way too much. Wow, it's already been an hour and a half? Holy moly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a lot of work. What I just need to do... I just need to uh, do one of those... Or I, I don't know. I want to talk about something. I don't know. Anyways, we've never been inside this building. Talk to this clerk. If you've come on business with the Valian Trading Company, it will have to wait until morning. We're closed. The guard tips her head in warning. There's no need for you to be here after hours. Move along. <laughs> I like number four. Perhaps we can arrive at a mutually beneficial understanding. If you're interested in making a donation, I'd accept it with thanks. But the doors stay closed. Hmm, farewell. Well, we're gonna quick save, then we're gonna go over here. Alrighty, so you duck down into the canal and find yourself kneeling before an iron grate. The reek of sewage wafting from the other side is powerful enough to bring tears to your eyes. The iron bars are set firmly into the surrounding brick barring any passage onwards. Uh, look for structural weakness. The iron bars look sturdy enough, but you are able to spot some telltale signs of corrosion between the bars and the brick. Now that the defect is apparent, the work of bending the bars would prove a less demanding challenge. Send someone in to bend the bars. 
You know, 16 might. Why are your stats all over the place? We're sending in you. Yeah. And her prize one of the bars loose with a quick, quick grunt of exertion followed by a satisfied nod. Climb through. You carefully squeeze through the opening, stealing yourself for what comes next. One by one, your party travels upstream in a single file line, undeterred by the smell. As you progress through the tunnel, a change in the air pressure catches your attention. There is an opening above your head. The walls are slick and coated with waste, but you find handholds carved in either side of a narrow passage leading up. You haul yourself out of the pit towards freedom. Out through the toilet of the Valiant Trading Company headquarters.